let's try and put some foot into it. Just having a bad hair day or just a bad day in general because I don't know I just hate how um, I just can't do my hair can't I'm just not feeling myself I just got a headache um, yeah I don't feel like doing much but I have to um, but then if I don't do much or if I don't do anything then I feel depressed and um, yeah it's just story of my life but yeah hi guys uh, welcome back to my channel it's been so long I don't remember the last time I filmed the video um, yeah it's just been a I think I just want to change it I've been away for I mean from YouTube for a while and um, yeah if you're new here my name is Satina and I usually create videos related to uh, motherhood mother life and uh, fashion for caviar girls um, yeah so I don't know the last time I uploaded a video I don't know maybe it was a month ago or so that's the longest I went without like uploading anything on YouTube and um, I don't know I'm just feeling a bit you know up and down it's just not easy um, at the moment I just have a terrible headache as well which I don't know where and why but um, sometimes it's just difficult just waking up in the morning and just you know having to do the same things you know over and over again it's just difficult um, I don't know what that is I don't know if it's postpartum it is it's I think I think I've got many women they've got postpartum depression for, for like long longer than expected um, or maybe just my general anxiety or you know that's because I'm naturally a uh, an anxious person um, I've got anxiety so um, yeah it's uh, just you know sometimes I just get to that point when I'm just I just cannot handle it anymore like um, I wouldn't say breakdown but I just I just refusing to do the things I'm supposed to be doing like not really supposed to but the things that keep me motivated really you know I just give up on it like um, I want to lose weight because uh, I've I haven't got on a scale for a long time so when I got on the scale I was like 71 kilos I think I don't know I haven't measured myself for a long time to be honest because uh, uh, you know I used to have a bad relationship with food and it can trigger me at times and um, I would I wouldn't say that it triggered me this time but I've realized that I've put on a lot of weight I mean which is expected you know after having a baby and I think the last time I was I was you know I got on the scale was like five years ago or maybe I was 63 64 kilos so now I'm 71 and uh, yeah I'm just trying to lose that weight as well just to exercise just to make myself feel a bit better you know because um, I feel sluggish you know this that's the feeling I constantly have you know the sluggish sluggishness boredom or you know and um at the same time you know you know you are supposed to do some things to make you feel better but you just refuse to do those things because you're just tired you just you know exhausted you're overwhelmed you've got a list of things that you keep thinking i have to do this and that and that and that and having a baby as well it doesn't help so it might sound like excuses but 
you know all these things piling up in your mind having all those things inside your brain just kind of frees you in it and then at some point you're just like you know what i'm not doing that i'm not gonna exercise today you know you procrastinate and you say okay i'm gonna exercise tomorrow instead and tomorrow comes and it's the same old you know cycle it's the same chain of thoughts in your brain um and i'm a person that i'm always trying to make money to find my passion um it's just hard like i won't lie like it's not easy like i've started doing um what you know i'm doing my if you don't have got a small business on etsy i make headbands and scrunchies and it's it's just hard to to make any sales really and it can really affect you you know you don't feel as confident but um i keep reminding myself that i shouldn't give up because you know it's gonna it's gonna pay off at some point and uh that's what i tell myself with every project i start i've been doing things by myself for years now i will start something you know and to, to try and achieve something trying to make money it won't work out and i go to something else and at the end of the day it just makes you feel like um maybe i'm not good at anything like you're just trying to find what you really what you are really good at you know and it's so it can be demoralizing it can really bring you down which that's what i'm experiencing at the moment but i'm trying to fight it anyway and uh, even with youtube i got to a thousand subscribers i should be very ecstatic and all that which i'm very happy and i'm very grateful but it doesn't generate any money out of a sudden you know even if i'm not monetized yet and even if i get monetized um i'm 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 nearly there um to make money on youtube now it's so hard if you don't have like a patreon account or something on the side it's very hard to make money you know and nowadays youtube is just a means to um uh, you know expose yourself to people so they can follow um uh, they can learn about your business and you know and and then uh, maybe pay money on your patreon or you know whatever business or services you're providing and pay money for that so it's not just youtube so i don't uh so i'm just thinking is it worth like having a youtube channel at the moment i don't know because you put uh, i put so much effort into it like filming I have to edit you know and that takes time away from my family like you know um, I'm trying to edit and I will get annoyed with my daughter that she won't let me to edit and then I feel bad because that shouldn't be the case you know like I, sh I, I should just leave my laptop on the side and just spend time with my daughter instead you know and it frustrates me because I'm thinking I put all this effort I do all that and I don't see that pay off it's kind of frustrating and i am keep wondering and keep thinking is it worth it like this YouTube thing should I carry on what should I do what should I do instead I've recently started a Fiverr account um, not a bit of Photoshop and all that so you know maybe I can get some money from there but I'm always trying to think of ways to make money and it feels like it's just not working out and I'm just thinking, am I doing something wrong? Maybe, maybe I'm not good at it. Or what should I do? Maybe I should give up. Maybe, maybe not. So it's yeah, it's just not easy. So at the end of the day, I'm just trying to do whatever makes me happy. To be honest, I feel happy sewing. I just it's something I like so um i wouldn't just give up on it you know because i really enjoy doing it and who knows you know so um yeah and i enjoy youtube as well but sometimes i just dread to doing some things like fashion horse is very hard it's hard to do it you have to change you have to think of the outfits you, you know you, you need to come up with ideas it's hard work so so that's where i just took that break i did not even I was not even intenting, intenting, my accent sometimes, to take a break, but it just happened because I just, 
was not feeling it. I was not up to it. Like I, I just got, I'm just, I just got busy as well, having to take care of the house. Um, I'm, I still have a job that is my shifts are all over the place because um, I work in a hospital. So sometimes I work nights, sometimes I work days. Sometimes I work long days, work you know long nights. It's not yeah, it's it's just a lot of things. So um, and then trying to think of childcare. Childcare is another thing that really stresses me out. I know this video you you, you might come out as um, you know like like me ranting, but these are issues that people are going through especially moms working moms you know and um, yeah so I'm sure you can sympathize or empathize with me you know and um, in a lot of things that I'm talking about like childcare here in the UK I think everywhere anyway it's just hard uh, it's expensive and because here I don't have my family my parents my siblings they are not they don't live here so I have to me and my husband we have to work out our shift patterns uh, take turns uh, when he's not working I'm working when I'm not working he's working so at the end of the day we don't even have time for ourselves you know we <laughs> sometimes like we barely see each other for days you know and um, and yeah just just to have your mom around or something and just just for a few minutes for a few hours just to tell her mom can you just look after her i just want to go to the gym or something to have your alone time you know it's just hard you don't have that i don't have that and i feel guilty when you know my colleague or you know people help me you know look after her when i'm at work sometimes you know my neighbor have to look after her or my colleague and I even feel guilty about leaving here with them I feel guilty because I'm taking their time you know and all that so so I just choose to um, so it's not easy for me to tell them you know I, I want to go to the gym can you look after her no for me time you know to leave her to them uh, for to spend my me time I just I don't do that I just feel bad so if it's only a necessity like having to go to work that's when I will leave her to my you know neighbor or my colleague and um and, and yeah it's just and, and also going through a pregnancy in the middle of a pandemic I was you know I didn't have my siblings again here my husband was not even allowed to come into the room for the ultrasounds and all that you know for the all the appointments he was not allowed so i went through that kind of alone and then i gave birth alone i live with my husband there and and then um i got married uh here and only my parents managed to come due to covid so all of that you know i keep thinking about all those things and i'm thinking damn i've done everything myself not myself but you know you know what i mean and it can feel lonely at the end of the days i won't i won't lie it it can feel lonely you know and um and the only time i will you know I was spent with my sibling is when I go to Cyprus to visit them which I went a few times and then I get frustrated with the, my siblings you know that they don't come to visit you know I went I made the effort and I went to Cyprus with my baby I travel by myself you know you should make an effort as well sometimes you know it's and anyway I just I don't want to get into it because I will get upset and maybe it's unfair for, for me to expect him from them to come to visit me because I chose to live here you know I chose that life so it's not fair to blame me on them or whatever so 
yeah it's just that's just a side note so yeah uh, moving forward I'm just um, I'm just gonna take it easy just do what I'm supposed to do um, and I will just try and um, I just need a break that's what I feel you know I just need a break like to do something and um, and sometimes sometimes it's even that like to get into the effort to do something to go out it's still an effort for me sometimes you know and um, having to plan things I mean it's still I still have to get into the process of thinking and it so sometimes it's just so hard I'm just overthinking all the time and it's exhausting you know so yeah um maybe you, I I uh, keep talking maybe all of that is just excuses or I don't know maybe I should be more appreciative of life and grateful and of course I am but um I can't just ignore the fact that life is hard you know and um, now everything went up bills everything so I have to work extra hours or whatever people people in general have to work extra because our salaries don't go up only the bills which is another thing that frustrates me so much you know um, I just don't I, I just don't get it this world can be so cruel we went through a pandemic now we've got this war happening everything goes up all the bills everything and people are struggling um, you know in general in everywhere uh, but more more of other people in the Ukrainians you know I just feel you know uh, I just feel sad for all the events that I for all of for everything that's happening at the moment in this world but yeah we gotta keep it positive so I don't wanna leave this video here with a negative um, you know uh, note I uh, just wanna leave it in a positive note and um, let us remind ourselves that uh, um, let's just think of the things that we are grateful for let's appreciate that and um and just do our best to to better ourselves to develop ourselves to make ourselves a better person you know let's let's just try in every sector of our lives really because people say money doesn't make you happy but listen if i had money and i had a babysitter maybe you know to, to leave my daughter for a few hours so I can have some me time or if I have a cleaner so I don't have to clean the house and I get to spend more time with my daughter more quality time with my daughter you know I would be a bit happier you know maybe money doesn't make you happy but it can help in a situation I don't know maybe you you want to call me materialistic but this world we live in is is all about money unfortunately that's how it's built you know so if you don't go out there or try and find ways to make money then the world will literally swallow you so so yeah um this mother's day today so happy, happy mother's day to all the amazing moms out there and um yes i will come back soon i will come out of this fog that i'm in and i uh, will come up with more videos um yeah i've got a lot of videos i'm planning to do i was planning to do but everything just go like post you know and and yeah um i just want to show you my uh is crunchy this one is uh, a linen blend it's crunchy 
very spring-like now and summery it's so cute I like the bow because it's just um because I like skinnier scrunchies right but with the bow it adds some something nice into it you know and it makes the fabric a bit uh, thicker so um, yeah and uh, also I've got a PayPal account if you want to donate you know help mama here um, if you want to donate any amount you know you can so I can uh, feel a bit motivated to do these videos and just in general produce and be productive and and all that I would really appreciate it so I'm just gonna leave the links to everything down below also visit my shop uh, support a small business and uh, I will see you in the next one bye for now all night long yeah. we dance with our razor tongues and all day long